everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's home screen tutorial is a screen of the day called Retro Android Amazing Screen by Valarellas. And here is the screen, so let's see what made this screen of the day. So getting a closer look at this Android home screen, it is a three screen setup like this. Starting with our first screen, we've got our awesome feeder or our Feedly widget displaying all our RSS news that can change just like this. We've got our battery indicator there. Got a little music player over here that when just tapped, it'll play some music. We've got our icons at the bottom here for quick navigation. Going into our next screen, we can see we've got our time, date there, as well as this cool little weather icon here. And at the bottom, we've got more little favorite apps or frequently used apps such as our mail, web, and our phone. And finally, moving on to our last screen, we've got these three photo album type pictures here as well as the icons next to them. And when tapping these icons, will bring up your gallery, your YouTube, as well as any social community that you use and then finally at the bottom we've got your agenda which just displays your next event which is quick and handy and looks really good on this home screen so if you'd like to know how to recreate this android home screen this video tutorial will give you step-by-step -step instructions in order to create this awesome retro home screen let us begin okay starting from a stock nova launcher we want to hold down on the home screen and then push the little wrench to get into our nova settings from here we want to go into our desktop and then from here we want to go into our desktop grid. From here as you can see I set a massive 16 by 7 rows and columns. Now remember if you want to get to that large grid size you can only do this with Nova. Once you're in the main screen here you want to hold down on your volume which will bring up your labs mode here. Once you go into labs you want to select big grid size options which will give you that massive grid size that we can see here. So you want to 16 by 7. This worked well for a Nexus 4, but if you have a phone such as the Galaxy Note or some other phone, a 10x7 may work better. So, like I said, if it doesn't work, play around with the desktop grid and see works, which works best for you. We're going to select OK now. Our margins, I made my height margin medium, and that was because I wanted to get that Feedly widget to fit onto the home screen. So, like as always, if that doesn't work, yeah, I can either put it as none, which may work better for you. Your home screens, you want three home screens. Scroll effect does not really matter, but wallpaper scrolling does. You want it to be on because you're gonna be using multi-picture live wallpaper, so you definitely want this to be on. If it gives you errors or something, turn it off and then on again, and it should be up and running. Remember, you just wanna finally add or enable resize all widgets, widgets overlap, and overlap when placing. Next, we want to go back, go into our dock settings, and you want to disable the dock. Now, sometimes you want the dock enabled if you want to bump up the widgets a bit, say for your CCW skins, but for now, I'm just going to leave it disabled. Once that's done, you're pretty much all set and ready to go. You just want to change your gestures and buttons. What I like to do, because there's no physical app draw icon, you can make your home button launch your app draw, or you can set it as a gesture, which also works very well. Just want to go back and finally into your look and feel, you want to scroll down and you want to disable show notification bar. This is the notification bar at the top. So that's pretty much it. Obviously, if you want that notification bar back again, you can use gestures, which works really well to just show a quick preview. And that is our Nova settings complete. We're going to go back now and into our wallpaper. Okay, great. So for our wallpaper, we want to hold down on the home screen. We want to select wallpapers. And now we want to go into live wallpaper. From here, you want to download this app called Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper or MPLW. It works as an amazing widget or app just because you can have multiple wallpapers at once. So from here, we want to go into our settings straight away. And you want to select the little plus button here in Add Individual Settings. Once you want to select that, you want to add in one, select OK, two, OK, and then three, OK, until you have three screens set up. Great. Once that is done, you want to go into your screen one settings, go into your picture source, go into your single picture now, and you want to find the wallpapers that you've copied to your phone, either using gallery or even your file explorer. So you just want to find your retro Android screen or your fo folder here, and you can see you've got three here. So you can choose any one to be your first screen, but we're going to go for the Feedly one or the one that's just got that gray block in the middle. Now next you want to go crop resize ratio and this is very important. As you can see I've enabled show entire picture. Now the problem with that is that it shows the entire picture 
on the Nexus 4, but it cuts off a slight little sides. It's actually hardly noticeable. So if you want to still see the whole thing, just go show entire picture or fit to full screen, which gives you a different effect. So whichever one you prefer, you enable that. So I'm going to go show entire picture. And if that doesn't work for you, you can select fit to full screen, but we're just going to go for show entire picture for now. So once that's done, you want to go screen two settings and you want to do the exact same thing, except you want to choose that second picture, the one with the weather. Then finally for screen three settings, you're going to have the one with the photo albums on the side. Great. Once that's set up, you want to take off any reflections that might be seen and transition type. You can choose that to be whatever one you prefer. So once that's done, you just want to go back now and then say select wallpaper and it will select it all for you. Look at that. It looks pretty cool. Great. Once your wallpaper has been set up, we're going to be moving on to the UCCW widgets for each one of these screens. Okay. So for these UCCW widgets, you want to hold down on the home screen, select widgets and then scroll to the UCCW one we have right here. Now, obviously it doesn't really make a difference on what size you choose say for the battery one you want at the top there let's go for a two by two and as you can see we're not going to be going open new zip but what i do want you to do is go into your file explorer and find where you've copied your uccw widgets for this as you can see there'll be a dot ucw format you want to paste it into the folder called ultimate custom clock widget we see before us right here if you scroll down you can see i've already copied them in they're called retroid android date battery etc etc so it's a little bit different than going open new zip you can just paste it in straight like this and it'll be already set up so the dis the advantage about that is that you don't have to go open new zip but the disadvantage is that you're going to have to paste the fonts into your folder called fonts right here but don't worry the fonts have been provided so that's all well and good once you have copied your fonts into the fonts folder and your ucc dot uccw skins into the ultimate custom clock widget folder we see over here then if we come back to our screen here that shows us all of our skins you'll see that our retro skins have already been added even though they might not look the same they've got different icons for the previews don't worry about that it just that's just uccw's thing but when you add it let's go for the battery right here and you select the finger it will give you that font right there as you can see it's a bit small at the over here let's zoom in a little so as you can see it's designed for a galaxy note so it looks a bit weird on the nexus 4 don't worry about that if we just select it and it brings up our editor we can now just go into our select object at the top and from here we want to select our battery level and from here we can drag it around to wherever you want it to fit so if you want to think it's going to be right over there we'll just go back and as you can see it's a little bit too high so you want to go back into the editor and just rearrange it until it fits perfectly for you remember if you want to get some preci precision tuning you just want to select position faster movement works well and you can just move it around to get some finer movements like that great so as you can see we've got our battery widget our uccw skin set up there great so once you set up your battery widget we're going to be doing the same for these ones over here and as always if they don't fit say for the clock and the dates or pretty much for all of them you're just going to have to do some resizing and repositioning for each one of these widgets and same goes for the agenda the uccw skin over here great so there we have our uccw skin set up next we're going to be moving on to our icon shortcuts that you see all at the bottom here so setting up these icon shortcuts is very easy you want to hold down on your home screen you want to select apps now with nova you can either select multiple or you can just select them one by one so we want to be going into our alarm clock let's say for example and select we're just going to select the clock there it is right there we just want to drag it into the position pretty much that if it covers the icon it's good to go because the selecting the icon will still get your shortcut to open when to hold down on the icon select edit select the picture go into your gallery or your files wherever you want to, to locate your blank png that you have saved onto your phone we want to select it don't worry a link is provided below want to select your blank png might be small but you just want to go okay and then go okay again now it has made it transparent don't worry it's still there though let's just select the clock boom there goes our alarm set up like that you want to do that for navigation 
for phone as well. As you can see, the phone's already been set up and you pretty much want to do that for each one of these screens for these ones over here. And you can add it to these icons here as well. Obviously, if you want to make these ones open up things as well, you can either use the app, app shortcuts or a desktop visualizer, which pretty much just holding down on the home screen, selecting widgets, choosing a desktop visualizer, and then making the action, opening up the gallery, YouTube, or your social communities, and then just making the icon a blank PNG. Great, we're almost set up. There's just two more widgets that we want to place here. First is your Feedly, and next is your Music Player. So from here, we just want to hold down on the home screen, select our widgets, and you want to download the awesome free app called Feedly. It looks really good. You want to select the 4x2 size, select whichever account you, you are going to be using for it, and then you just need to resize and reposition it. So what's great about this Feedly widget is that, as you can see, if you place it correctly, it gives off these little shadows that make it look like it's actually standing out of the home screen. That is really cool. This author has really done it well. But the problem is, what happens if, say, your Feedly widget ends up looking like this with some gaps turning up and down? That's what I mentioned earlier before. You're going to have to play around with your grid size as well as, say, adding in your dock as well as your height margins you can play around as well. So whether or not there's always going to be something that you can do for your screen. And as always, if you want to move that little battery sound a little bit up there, the, P the PSD has been provided so you can make it look exactly the way you want it. Finally, for our music player, you can use the great free app called Widget Soid. Let's select it now. We want to go for a three by one. Just want to go add new toggle. We can go into our mini options here and you want to go select sound. This makes it a lot easier because now you can just select previous, play pause, and then next, and then select the tick button. We did that by selecting add new toggle. But now we're going to go into our theme. We want to select deselect separation round corners we're going to scroll down to choose background we want it we want it to be a none and your indicator type we want it to be none as well so you just pretty much got just the icons now don't forget you want to go apply now and that has now applied the settings there we have it we just want to resize it a bit so it fits in very well And as you can see it works if you want to make it you can always change the colors to be whiter if you would like and there we have our home screen completed boom just like that thank you very much guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to the my color screen youtube channel as well as check out our facebook google plus as well as our twitter communities thank you very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen and don't stop customizing